throughout my life I have experienced uh, racism in many forms, um, in many situations. And um, I guess picking one story to tell you is actually kind of difficult, but which is sad. But um, upon saying that, I, I am going to tell you a really um, personal story to me, which um, is really important because it's uh, really resounded throughout my entire life. I've never forgotten it. Um, and I feel like it has shaped the person I am today. Uh, this story happened, uh, well, we can date it to about um, when I was eight or nine. So I was about in year two at the time, still in primary school. Um, and what happened was, was that one day, just in class, uh, this boy decided to make a, a quite inappropriate joke slash comment about my last name. And being the firebrand I was then, and in fact still am now, um, I just went, I just remember I completely snapped and I punched him in the face and subsequently broke his nose. Um, I actually don't really remember this happening. All I really remember is sitting outside the principal's office thinking, oh God, I am going to be killed. My parents are going to kick me out of the house after punching and breaking someone's nose. Um, I was scared. <laughs> I was sitting outside the principal's office knowing that my father had been called to come in um, to talk about whether I was going to get suspended or not. Um, and when my dad came like into school and I saw him walking towards me up the corridor and I remember thinking, oh, this is the end, you know, I've reached the end of my life, it was a good run up till now. Um, and when he came up to me, where I thought he would yell at me, what he actually said was, Lauren, I'm really proud of you for standing up for who you are and standing up for your cultural identity. And I remember being absolutely flabbergasted. I could not believe that I had just been, like, well, I hadn't gotten in trouble for punching someone's lights out. Um, and I know, like, in, in hindsight, and my dad knows too, that, like, violence is terrible and I shouldn't do, like, of course, it's never the solution to anything. But what I really did take away from that story was that it's really important to stand up for yourself and your cultural identity and your cultural integrity. These things are very important and integral to who you are and not something to be given away or allowed to be abused lightly.